31 Days of Proverbs, Week 5, The Daily 5-Minute Bible Welcome to the fifth and final week of our 31 Days of Proverbs series. This week, we delve into reflections from the wisdoms of Proverbs 29 through 31 and summarizing the key lessons we've learned. Embrace the culmination of our journey through these passages and their enduring insights. As we wrap up this series, may the wisdom of Proverbs keep inspiring and guiding your spiritual journey. 31 Days of Proverbs, Day 29, The Daily 5-Minute Bible Proverbs 29 He that being often reproved hardens his neck, shall suddenly be destroyed, and that without remedy. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bears rule, the people mourn. Whoso loves wisdom rejoices his father, but he that keeps company with harlots spends his substance. The king by judgment establishes the land, but he that receives gifts overthrows it. A man that flatters his neighbor spreads a net for his feet. In the transgression of an evil man there is a snare, but the righteous does sing and rejoice. The righteous considers the cause of the poor, but the wicked regards not to know it. Scornful men bring a city into a snare, but wise men turn away wrath. If a wise man contends with a foolish man, whether he rage or laugh, there is no rest. The bloodthirsty hate the upright, but the just seek his soul. A fool utters all his mind, but a wise man keeps it in till afterwards. If a ruler hearken to lies, all his servants are wicked. The poor and the deceitful man meet together. The Lord lightens both their eyes. The king that faithfully judges the poor, his throne shall be established forever. The rod and reproof give wisdom, but a child left to himself brings his mother to shame. When the wicked are multiplied, transgression increases, but the righteous shall see their fall. Correct your son, and he shall give you rest. Yea, he shall give delight unto your soul. Where there is no vision, the people perish. But he that keeps the law, happy is he. A servant will not be corrected by words, for though he understand, he will not answer. See you a man that is hasty in his words? There is more hope of a fool than of him. He that delicately brings up his servant from a child shall have him become his son at the length. An angry man stirs up strife, and a furious man abounds in transgression. A man's pride shall bring him low, but honor shall uphold the humble in spirit. Whoso is partner with a thief hates his own soul. He hears cursing, and betrayed it not. The fear of man brings a snare, but whoso puts his trust in the Lord shall be safe. Many seek the ruler's favor, but every man's judgment comes from the Lord. An unjust man is an abomination to the just and he that is upright in the way is abomination to the wicked. Proverbs 29, Day 29 has ended. 31 Days of Proverbs, Day 30, The Daily 5-Minute Bible Proverbs 30 The words of Agur the son of Jake, even the prophecy, the man spoke unto Ithiel, even unto Ithiel and you call. Surely I am more brutish than any man, and have not the understanding of a man. I neither learned wisdom nor have the knowledge of the holy. Who has ascended up into heaven or descended? Who has gathered the wind in his fists? Who has bound the waters in a garment? Who has established all the ends of the earth? What is his name? And what is his son's name, if you can tell? Every word of God is pure. He is a shield unto them that put their trust in him. Add you not unto his words, lest he reprove you, and you be found a liar. Two things have I required of you. Deny me them not before I die. Remove far from me vanity and lies. Give me neither poverty nor riches. Feed me with food convenient for me. Lest I be full, and deny you, and say, Who is the Lord? Or lest I be poor, and steal, and take the name of my God in vain. Accuse not a servant unto his master, lest he curse you and you be found guilty. There is a generation that curses their father and does not bless their mother. 
there is a generation that are pure in their own eyes, and yet is not washed from their filthiness. There is a generation, oh, how lofty are their eyes, and their eyelids are lifted up. There is a generation whose teeth are as swords, and their jaw teeth as knives, to devour the poor from off the earth, and the needy from among men. The horse leech has two daughters, crying, Give, give. There are three things that are never satisfied. Yea, four things say not, it is enough. The grave, and the barren womb, the earth that is not filled with water, and the fire that says not, it is enough. The eye that mocks at his father and despises to obey his mother, the ravens of the valley shall pick it out, and the young eagles shall eat it. There be three things which are too wonderful for me, yea, four which I know not. The way of an eagle in the air, the way of a serpent upon a rock, the way of a ship in the midst of the sea, and the way of a man with a maid. Such is the way of an adulterous woman. She eats and wipes her mouth and says, I have done no wickedness. For three things the earth is disquieted, and for four which it cannot bear. For a servant when he reigns, and a fool when he is filled with food. For an abhorrent woman when she is married and an handmaid that is heir to her mistress. There be four things which are little upon the earth, but they are exceeding wise. The ants are a people not strong, yet they prepare their food in the summer. The conies are but a feeble folk, yet make they their houses in the rocks. The locusts have no king, yet go they forth all of them by bands. The spider takes hold with her hands, and is in king's palaces. There be three things which go well, yea, four are comely in going. A lion which is strongest among beasts, and turns not away for any. A greyhound, and a goat also, and a king, against whom there is no rising up. If you have done foolishly in lifting up yourself, or if you have thought evil, lay yours hand upon your mouth. Surely the churning of milk brings forth butter, and the wringing of the nose brings forth blood. So the forcing of wrath brings forth strife. Proverbs 30, day 30 has ended. 31 days of Proverbs, day 31, the daily five-minute Bible. Proverbs 31 The words of King Lemuel, the prophecy that his mother taught him. What, my son? And what, the son of my womb? And what, the son of my vows? Give not your strength unto women nor your ways to that which destroys kings. It is not for kings, O Lemuel, it is not for kings to drink wine, nor for princes strong drink, lest they drink and forget the law and pervert the judgment of any of the afflicted. Give strong drink unto him that is ready to perish, and wine unto those that be of heavy hearts. Let him drink and forget his poverty and remember his misery no more. Open your mouth for the dumb in the cause of all such as are appointed to destruction. Open your mouth, judge righteously, and plead the cause of the poor and needy. Who can find a virtuous woman? For her price is far above rubies. The heart of her husband does safely trust in her, so that he shall have no need of spoil. She will do him good and not evil all the days of her life. She seeks wool and flax and works willingly with her hands. She is like the merchant's ships. She brings her food from far. She rises also while it is yet night, and gives food to her household and a portion to her maidens. She considers a field and buys it. With the fruit of her hands, she plants a vineyard. She girds her loins with strength and strengthens her arms. She perceives that her merchandise is good. Her candle goes not out by night. She lays her hands to the spindle, and her hands hold the distaff. She stretches out her hand to the poor. Yeah, she reached forth her hands to the needy. She is not afraid of the snow for her household, for all her household are clothed with scarlet. She makes herself coverings of tapestry. Her clothing is silk and purple. Her husband is known in the gates when he sits among the elders of the land. She makes fine linen and sells it, and delivers girdles unto the merchant.
strength and honor are her clothing, and she shall rejoice in time to come. She opens her mouth with wisdom, and in her tongue is the law of kindness. She looks well to the ways of her household, and eats not the bread of idleness. Her children arise up and call her blessed, her husband also, and he praises her. Many daughters have done virtuously, but you excel them all. Favor is deceitful, and beauty is vain. But a woman that fears the Lord, she shall be praised. Give her of the fruit of her hands, and let her own works praise her in the gates. Proverbs 31, Day 31 has ended. Please continue with our 31 Days of Proverbs, The Journey with the Lord, with verses from the Bible. I encourage you all to join me as we continue on this 31 Days of Proverbs, immersing ourselves in the Lord's presence through the sacred verses of the Bible.